younger drivers are disproportionately represented in uh, fatal and serious injury crashes. They're overrepresented. Nobody thinks it's going to happen to me today as they step into a car, especially not younger drivers. But numbers don't lie, and inexperienced drivers are at a greater risk of a collision. This risk is multiplied when the driver is distracted. It could be that if you're just putting on makeup or just talking to a passenger, that all of those are actually different forms of distractions. And one of the things that a lot of um, young drivers are not actually aware of is how dangerous certain things are, particularly when you're looking away from the road for any um, period of time. It is to tackle problems like this that the PACTRANS conference is held, a gathering of researchers from five Northwest universities, Washington State University, the University of Idaho, Oregon State University, the University of Alaska Fairbanks, and the University of Washington. Together, these institutions make the University Transportation Center. These researchers and industry professionals are gathering to share their work and begin to take the next collaborative steps towards making a change on the road. This conference will be serving as the platform for researchers to communicate with each other and exchange ideas and discussing about uh, future potential opportunities for further research. I've been involved in a, a couple of different projects, um, the largest of which has been our outreach endeavors, where we have focused on um, interacting with uh, younger drivers, teenage drivers, in high school environments, trying to educate them, increase their awareness about the negative influences of distracted driving. Driver distraction is of particular interest for this year's conference, which is why the theme is safety. It's in our, our, our mission statement that we take the new knowledge that's developed and disseminate it and implement it effectively in the real world. And I, I think that the PAC Trans Center is, is serving for a mechanism to facilitate that outcome. Dr. Linda Boyle and her team of graduate students are making a contribution for change by studying the issue of distraction at the UW in their lab's driving simulator. I run a driving simulator study. Pretty much what we have participants do is drive the simulator um, and issue a voice command. One of the biggest issues that we have right now nationwide is understanding how all these technologies that are coming into our car can have an impact on how drivers um, are looking at the primary road. And in the meantime, someone rather use their like $200 iPhone to, as a default navigation system. In order to use the voice control, you got to take out your phone, power it on, enter a four-digit password, and then issue a voice control. That's a lot of eyes off road, so it's actually very dangerous. Well, I think the USDOT has been a leader in messaging the safety consequences of texting or talking on your cell phone, but that's, that's one subset of these challenges. Every time we make a choice to do something other than drive our vehicle, we're potentially impacting our performance, and, and that's something that needs to be talked about more. Inexperienced drivers in particular are more prone to becoming distracted in their cars. They exhibit a novice driving performance behaviors, where they look in the world around them as they are driving their vehicle. And we tend to see things like drivers focusing a little bit closer to their car. They're less likely to scan further down the roadway, which is when more experienced drivers would recognize there's a greater likelihood for the vehicle in front of them to slow down and stop. Dr. Hurwitz worked with the PACTRANS Consortium to develop an outreach project, a presentation for students in high schools all across the Northwest. Before the presentation, they provided a survey that asked the students about their thoughts on their own driving. After the presentation, sometimes weeks later, they provided a second survey to see how the students' perceptions had changed. In total, we've interacted with 4,000 teenage drivers in the Pacific Northwest thus far, and we saw um, positive deltas in terms of uh, improved and more correct perceptions about what constitutes distracted driving. I think that there's a lot of related to not just giving them information about what is dangerous or not, but also making them aware of what the risks are. PACTRANS is going to continue to reach out to inexperienced drivers, conduct and share its research, and change the way we think about driving for the better. Everybody is exposed to transportation. Everybody uses transportation to get to work, to school. And a lot of people don't realize the effect that their daily trip has. They don't realize all the work that goes in to get them from point A to point B, but there's there's a lot of engineering that goes into it. I mean, it's a, something that affects everybody's life, and so it really is 
it's cool to get to work with something that you get to change a lot of people's lives and make a lot of people's lives better by, you know, working in the transportation field.